So here we are at the car market once again, and you know what? Komodo's got right around $1.2 million, and uh, I see the new car here. I definitely want this. Uh, how much is this? I think it's an R8. Uh, only 65,000 kilometers. It's 572,000. We can afford that, but you know what? We're going to be a cheapskate. I'll give you 525,000. Uh, do you think he'd give us like almost 50,000? Oh my goodness. He almost gave us 50,000 off. Um, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put fuel in it. We're definitely going to have to drive this one around. Uh, I really think this, I mean, it could be a car that we eventually keep. I don't know. <laughs> I like selling cars and making money. So anyways, there's a Mustang over here. I'm pretty sure we can uh, make a deal on this one. 63,000 kilometers, uh, 34,000. I know I can get right around 50 for these. Uh, it's got quite a bit of damage though. Sir, that damage is a little too much. How about 25,000, huh? Uh, it's gonna cost me money to get that thing fixed. Offer's too low. All right, 27,000. Uh, I got something I wanna go drive, so let's make this quick. Uh, below my expectations. Okay, 28,000. Uh, I think that's all this is, this is worth, right? Uh, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and put fuel into it, and we're going to send that to the repair bay. Oh, yeah, we are... Man, we're getting it done this morning. So I got 646,000. There is a Ferrari over here. It does have some visual damage on the hood. Also, it's really dirty. Like, who brings their car to a car market in this kind of shape? Uh, you're gonna have to give me a good deal on this thing. Oh, 200... Actually, that's not that bad at all. I thought it was gonna be much higher. It's, uh, 282,000. Uh, I think we can get it much cheaper. Let's go 240,000. Uh, man, we're making the deals this morning. There's a couple more high-end cars, uh, that we haven't gotten to buy. I, I I think the Lamborghini is one, uh, so we definitely need to do that. Also, uh, oh my goodness, wait, what are the uh, tires on this thing? I gotta lie, this is kind of cool looking car too. <laughs> I feel like we're just gonna fill up the whole lot, right? Well, you know what? I want to be perfect. We have uh, one of these Fiat's here. Uh, these are really good buys too. Might as well go ahead and pick it up while we're out here. Only 180,000. That seems cheap for this car. I could have swore this thing sells for quite a bit more. Uh, would you do 150,000 on this? Huh? Give me, give me like 30,000 off. Uh, come on, there you go. We've gotten some good deals this morning. All right, uh, go ahead and send that one to the shop. Well, we got 256,000 left. I mean, we could make one more purchase. Uh, you got this over here. Here. This is a Mercedes. I don't know if I've ever dealt with one of these. 81,000. Uh, I don't do the expertise anymore because I feel like I can get more money off by just straight up offering them money. So how about 60,000? Now give me 20K off that. Uh, I feel like, oh, expects a much higher offer. How about, let's go 65. I feel like that's actually still fair. Uh, 65,000. Come on. Oh, I need to think. Uh, I was expecting higher. Oh my goodness. You're picky. All right. 67,000. That's my final offer here. You got to give me some money off this. Uh, you got a great deal. All right. So we have made a ton of purchases this morning. Uh, this is fine. Uh, let's go test out the one vehicle. And then, uh, yeah, we need to get these vehicles fixed up and on the lot. Oh, my goodness. This is, oh, it's beautiful. All right, V10, hon, crank it up. Uh, nope, kind of got a low rumble. Does it sound like a V10? Not necessarily. I wish the car noises were a little bit better in the game. Uh, yeah, it sounds a little odd. But you know what? It is a freaking cool car. Uh, I don't know what color. Like, I feel like silver is, like, definitely one of the main colors uh, these are. Maybe we'll change this one up a bit. Also, man, it, does this thing have a drift kit on it? It does not want to drive straight at all. Okay, that's the first thing we need to do. Let's take this thing uh, into the auto electronics and tuning and get it looked at. I feel like there's a drift kit on this thing. It, yeah. I don't even know if I read that, but yeah, there's definitely a drift kit. Let's go racing kit. Uh, put the turbo on there. Uh, make sure this thing is dropped uh, nice and low. Uh, headlights. Uh, I'm actually not, I don't mind the blue. I kind of like a nice little blue like that. That actually looks really good. Uh, plate, not worried about that. Wheels, I don't mind the wheels, but I'm particularly, like, I like darker wheels. I like black wheels. Uh, those look hideous. Those look good. That's the wheel right there. Boom. All right, we're gonna get this thing looked at. Uh, I don't think there's any damage on it, but I wanna double check. Also, we need to get the vehicles that are in the repair bays. They need to start working on those. Uh, so, obviously, Saturday's gonna be a big day for the, uh, the car lot. What do you guys think I'm gonna be at? Uh, we started at about 1.2 million. I feel like we'll be at, I'm going to say 1.7 by the time this is all said and done. Uh, should we do, I, I'm actually thinking a yellow would look good on this. Uh, it looks a little shiny right now, but I think once we clean it up or it looks weird, it looks more gold, but once we clean it up, I think it'll look nice. All right, let's go get them working on these two cars in here. Uh, I think the Ferrari has a little bit of damage. How much is it? Oh yeah. It's not expensive at all. Like I cannot justify the expertise on any of these because by the time you repair it and if you add like a couple performance parts, it's still cheaper than expertise and 
you could still get really good deals on these cars. Uh, I still think that system, I, I think it might be a little, I don't want to say broken, but it needs a rework uh, in order for the, it to make more sense to pay for the expertise. Okay, we're moving this bad boy over right now. Uh, this is, I really wish we can like buy like a pedestal or something for certain cars. That way you're like, hey, look at this one. Or it would be nice if eventually you can buy a bigger dealership and you can park your really nice cars on the inside. I feel like that would make a lot of sense. Also, our lot is dirty. We cannot have that on. Let's clean all this up real quick. Okay, let's go and fix up the Fiat real quick. Turbo, NOS, and racing kit on this. Uh, suspension, it sets fine. Uh, it's a classic. I don't really want to mess with too much on that. Uh, it does need a new set of rims. Those actually, those are really deep wheels. I don't know if I'm... I'm a big fan of those. Uh, honestly, those still look good. I think those are the same ones we just put on the other vehicle. Yeah, I mean, they look good. It might be a little too modern for the car, but I mean, I, I kind of like it. All right, let's get this thing out. So yeah, this one needs to be painted, and I don't know. I think this one's clean as far as damage. I don't think we have to worry about that. Uh, so let's just get it painted. I think maybe we'll actually stick with the white on this. It just needs to be kind of shined up a little bit. Uh, so here, let's smooth that out, polish it. Uh, let's go bright white, boom. There we go. I think that's gonna look pretty nice. Okay, so the Mustang, other than repairing the damage, I'm gonna probably sell it as is. So let's send it back over to the tow spot. Uh, this thing's gonna need some upgrades. It's the Ferrari. Uh, obviously, wanna make sure it's in tip-top shape. Uh, I think we're gonna go with Ferrari red on this one. Or as close as possible. I, I don't know the exact, like, number code for it, or the color code. Uh, is that a thing? Does anybody actually know that? Because you can actually select them. Uh, if you want to. I'm pretty sure we can get pretty close to it. Alright, so paint that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and polish it up a little bit more. There we go. Nice looking. Alright. I'm going to go make sure everything else is upgraded on this. And then we'll stick this on the lot. And uh, we'll be close to being prepped for Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a massive day at the dealership. Maybe we can actually buy uh, the next upgrade for the dealership. Make it even bigger. Uh, so I think that should be our goal. And then eventually we need to buy like a Lamborghini. Because... Yeah, that's like one of the biggest cars in the game. And then hopefully we'll get some more uh, updates here really soon. I, I think it's going to happen. This is a beautiful car, by the way. Uh, oh, okay. Let's try not to get hit on the way over there. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we're getting some photos uh, for the cars here. Oh, that thing is beautiful. All right, take these. So how much can we expect to make off these? So let's say this one, for instance. Oh, my goodness. Above average. High price, $900,000. Uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, we're going to try for $900,000. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm really hoping it does so the ferrari we picked up uh we paid 242,000 for it looks like on the high end we can expect at least 500 so let's go 525 on it uh put it on sale okay mustang we are in about 29,000. i think we can get 55k for it not expecting a whole lot there. I just thought it was a, a pretty decent deal. So let's put that one for sale. There we go. Uh, Fiat, uh, this one fetches upwards of 370. Uh, we don't have that much invested in it. So let's go 370. Uh, put a picture on it real quick. So yeah, we really just have to collect our Mercedes. And then we are ready for the big sale tomorrow. I'm uh, super excited for this. This is going to be good. By the way, the Mercedes, we paid 68000 for it. It goes for upwards of 130. Like you can double your money almost. Uh, that's not bad at all. It's a good price. All right, put that one on sale. Actually, I need to go get a picture for it, but here, stick it up there. So everything's got a price tag on it. Uh, let's get to the morning. Okay, so the car auction is happening today too. I mean, we might try to get in on that. Uh, we might actually skip it today. I, I just want to see how much money we can make. Uh, we got some really good cars on the lot. Uh, before we open up, I'm going to go ahead and clean. We have the upgraded sponge. Still don't have the power washer yet, uh, but hopefully we'll get that soon. I just want to make sure everything's uh, nice and pretty here for all the customers. Uh, I think they're really going to dig what we have. Also, this R8 is not cleaning up. I think it's got the same bug as the BMW. So there's a chance we might need to go run that thing over to the car wash. Or we can sell it as is. Uh, I don't know. I still think regardless, we're going to make money on it. And it's going to be awesome. Also, I did not realize what color this Mercedes was. It was that dirty. Uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, this one really needed a, a nice shining here. Uh, yeah, that, that was pretty bad. All right, we're almost ready to open up here. Uh, just finishing up the vehicles. Getting a lot of skill points. So we're doing that at least. Okay, let's open this place. Boom, we are open for business. I need an upgrade here today. There's already people walking.
walking on the lot. They know we got some hot cars for sale. Are uh, you going for the R8 or the... Ooh. I was definitely going for the R8. Okay, so let's negotiate here. Obviously, I have about 530,000 in it. Uh, oh my goodness, are you? No, I'm not. We're not even close. Uh, I'm gonna remove this one real quick. This is bugging me because I feel like it is literally because it's not clean. Uh, so here, we're gonna remove you. Uh, so I have the wrong picture for it. It's fine. Uh, here, let's get into it. We're gonna run it down the street. Uh, you guys just hold on. I gotta go clean this thing. Uh, it's fine. Let's try not to wreck it on the way over there. Yeah, it kind of bugs me that this isn't fixed. Uh, between this and I think the new BMW, they both, uh, need to have it where you can actually use the sponge, because, yeah, I think you have to take it here in order to get it completely spotless. Which, this is a pretty dirty car, so, uh, let's go ahead and get it cleaned up real quick all right let's get a look at this thing uh is she uh sparkling now oh yeah look at that that is beautiful all right let's back it out uh, i don't know why the windshield's like that it looks like there's a glitch here like half the windshield's like a different tint uh is that an option now like i'd like to be able to tint the windows all right let's go see oh my goodness there's a ton of people at the dealership it's fine the uh the owner's just now getting back i uh, got a new r8 about to go on sale just crashed it into the building that's completely fine all right there we go now nah, she's looking beautiful all right let's talk about this ferrari real quick so they want to offer me four hundred three thousand. that would make quite a bit of money on it let's see if they'll go 450 would you go 450,000? uh get me closer to what i want for it price is bothering me boom got a great deal there all right so we're good there uh people looking at the mercedes here uh, didn't really do much to this one, so we're not in it a whole lot. They'll do 99,000, which is pretty good. Uh, would you do... Let's go 105. 105,000, I think, is a, a decent price for this car. Uh, congratulations. Wait, did you not just buy... I thought you just said congratulations. All right, you can have the Mercedes. Go to the next person. Uh, oh, wait, what? Wait, why are you leaving? Wait, I could have swore. Okay, uh, let's go to the Mustang. Uh, it, did we just break something in the game? Okay, for 55000 you can have this Mustang. Uh, offer me forty. Honestly, not a bad price. Can we go 43000 Uh, think about this. Uh, you got a deal. All right, so that one sold. I don't know why the Mercedes didn't sell. Uh, it's kind of odd. All right, let's put this other thing up for sale. Uh, I feel like I feel like something that's kind of weird like I feel like we should have made more money there I don't know it's like the couple of the cars just glitched out okay the R8's back for sale uh do you want this Fiat $370,000 huh the price is bothering me just a minute I'll pay 267 we'd make quite a bit of money off that but the lowest I would go on this is like 300k I think uh so would you do 300k come on come on there you go all right let's see if we can get rid of the Mercedes I don't know what was wrong with this thing uh come on give me like 100 105 or 104 is not bad would you go 110? This thing was like glitched out. Let's see if we can actually get the money for it now. 110, huh? Boom. All right, so we got rid of it. So we just have the R8 on the lot. Uh, we're going to be pretty close to where I think uh, I said we were going to be. I don't know. We're, uh, we got a really expensive car here, but just need somebody to come buy it, please. Uh, oh boy, I hope this thing sells. All right, got a couple people looking at the R8 here. Come on, 900,000. Just go ahead and just give me that price. Huh? I'll do 707. 707's making money. You know what? How about 800,000? Meet me in the middle there. I feel like that is totally fair. Uh, I'm thinking... Uh Oh my goodness. All right, we're almost up to $1.9 million. Um, so you know what? We gotta do it. We gotta upgrade the dealership. All right, let's go upgrades. Have they added anything else? Uh, we can do Office 3, Toe Spots. We got all of those. So let's go Office 3. Boom. Oh my goodness. How big? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a lot of space. I like how the lot gets bigger, but we didn't actually make the building bigger. Like, I feel like that should be the next upgrades, but we've done it. We've upgraded the office. Let's head down to the car auction. Uh, I'm kind of curious what the fourth car is going to be probably won't bid on the first three they're normally like kind of plain cars uh but we'll see what maybe number four has got on it uh see if we want to maybe buy in uh there goes the first car looks like it's a van uh here i want a ticket boom all right let's go set up here with the rest of the idiots uh they just don't know i got like 1.1 million uh waiting here yeah van honestly it's got really good uh miles on it like that's really low uh you know i'll, I'll throw my cap in real quick i'm gonna keep it low if we can get it at a decent price i might take the van uh, a lot of people got mad that i sold the drift van i had so i mean honestly we can turn this into a drift van uh, maybe this will be our daily okay twenty five thousand. all right so we have the van oh there's a supra as a second car that's actually pretty cool you don't yeah typically i think the first three vehicles have always been kind of like meh but 
Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll go for the Supra. Like, that thing still is good. I think I normally get right around 90k, but this one has lower miles than what I've dealt with before, so I'm thinking it's probably about a $105,000 vehicle, so if I can get it below, I would say, like, 70, I think I'd be comfortable. Oh, actually, I think we're gonna get it at 58. Alright, that's a good buy. This thing, I'm gonna skip. Uh, I don't want it. Uh, we'll wait for door number four and see what they've got behind that. Maybe it's the Lamborghini. Uh, I got a million bucks. Okay. Oh, it's another Fiat. Honestly, probably wouldn't be a bad buy. It's really low miles. Uh, all right. We have started. I'm going to keep them low. Let's see if we can get it. Hopefully under 200K uh, would be nice. Okay. We're at 181. Nope. We're still going 187. Come on. Stop bidding. Let me, let me have this for under 200K, please. Huh? Oh, we're at 199. We're getting close to my limit here. Okay, how about 205? Come on, man. Really? You know, I'm going to do one last big bid. Uh, we'll go 9,000. So it's at 220,000. I don't think I'd go any further. Uh, okay, pay 20 over. I mean, still not bad. We still have $800,000. Oh, we got a skill point too. Uh, I think I need one more though before I get the, the car washing machine. So yeah, we're going to have to wait on that. All right, go ahead and put gas in these. Uh, let's just set these on the lot. They should be pretty much damage free. Uh, so we'll set them over here. Probably will do minor modifications to uh, the later two cars. Uh, the van, maybe we keep it? You know, I could always do the drift kit again on it. But I feel like, man, we've had a pretty successful uh, episode so far. I mean, I think it's all up from here. I, I think the game's going to have to really throw some curveballs. Uh, because, yeah, we uh, we pretty much have the perfect money-making strategy. I mean, we could go put 800000 down on Blackjack. But I feel like that's probably a little more reckless than I want to be at the moment. So maybe we'll just keep with the selling of the cars. So yep, we're just gonna pull our new cars back here. Uh, we'll clean them up, deal with them later on. But you know what? We're gonna hop into this van and we're gonna drive home. Uh, we're gonna take the van. We're gonna say this is ours uh, right now. We can modify it and do some uh, pretty cool stuff. But we, uh, we definitely had a great day today.